everyone, welcome back to Schleich Sables, and today we are going to be opening something I'm very excited about. Um, I know this isn't a new product, but it's new to me, and so this is the Schleich Horse Club Truck and Trailer, and I am super excited about this. And as you can see, I'm actually on my floor because it was a little too big for my desk, and I actually did wait to open it this time, and I did also get just get home but um still because usually i open the products uh before the unboxing but i did wait this time so let's get it open so now we have quite a mess so I guess we're just gonna kind of work through this and see what we've got. So starting with these smaller bags, here we have uh, one of the people, her arm is already coming out of the bag. So let's get her out of there. And this is a standing person. Um, looks like maybe some sort of groom. Um, and she's kind of station she's stationary in this position, but I really like her. Let's see, what else do we have? We have oh, this is the truck driver. Okay. So he's also stuck in this position, but you know, it's his job to drive the truck, so he can just <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Uh this is the blanket and halter. We'll leave those in there for now. Uh oh, this is the horse. <gasps> oh, she's so pretty. She's got a little bit of a on her but that's okay we can maybe touch that up if we need to uh she is the frisian mare she's beautiful oh my goodness i don't have any frisians she is my first and she is gorgeous um here we have the tack and a few other accessories so we'll also leave those in there for now and these are all the pieces to put together the truck and trailer so let's get those open So let's get started by assembling the truck. Um, so I think these wheels just kind of snap on. Let me look at the instructions and make sure there's not a particular way. Oh, and also here are the stickers that come with it. They were in the instructions. All right, so they face this way. So you snap them on. It just looks like, just like this. Yep, just like that. So let's put all four of these on. I will say I'm very impressed with the material that these tires are made of. They're actually like, I don't know, you can't really tell, but they're like squishy. They're like a rubber. They're not just plastic. Like, that's really nice. Um, everything's kind of in there. The door's open. That's cute. There's a lot of detail on the inside. Um, it even has like clear glass on it. The back of the truck opens. I mean, this is really, like, this is really great. Um, and I think the hood opens too. Oh, it does. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's really great. Alrighty, so next we have all the trailer pieces. So this looks like the bottom. And here are all of the tires. So let's see. So we got those. And they do spin really nicely. Um, snap all those on. Do -do -do, do -do -do. All right, so got all the tires and really smooth roll. Um, here's the back, it's open right now, it's really cute. Um, and then I think this one goes on the front. Um, does it just go like that or? Um, it may just go like that. I don't know, that's really cool, right? So usually I don't use the instructions, but I'm really finding that I actually need to in this instance. Okay, it goes up here. So this goes like, this, I believe. Oh goodness. Is it snapping there? Hold on one second for technical difficulties. Okay, I figured it out. So this turns and it actually does make the wheel turn, which is cool. It's a very realistic detail. Okay, there's a door here. 
Um, that's nice. And there's a little, I think this is like a little space for tack right there. So let's look at these other pieces. Okay, so this one I think goes to the tack area. So that one snaps in. Right there. Got it. So that works like that. And it makes a little compartment here for the tack. Um, okay, and then I believe there's this shelf that also goes in. It's like a little saddle rack. So let me, does it go, let me put it in from this side, <laughs> open this door. This is quite the rigmarole, I will say. Okay, I took it out and put it on. This is why we read the instructions. So now I'm gonna put, pop this back in. Here we go, all right, now it's good. So now it's got the saddle rack. And then if we open up the back here, we have this, which is the little divider. So you can just leave it as is if you only want one horse in here but if you want to then you can put in this divider okay guys i figured it out clearly i'm not very good at some assembly required but you know what we're getting there um okay so we're gonna snap that in there and snap it in right here i guess snap it in on that side okay i got it i got it i got it okay so it works like that these little dividers move that's that's really cool okay so last but not least we've got the roof and it goes this way and it just snaps on top there so okay we finally got everything assembled so we've got some really really cute stickers to add i actually think i'm not gonna do the um side stickers i mean they're beautiful i just think i'd prefer it to be plain white and i might actually be oh goodness i might actually be able to get some stickers that have my stables logo on them so i might do that okay but i will use these other ones so we've got license plates and um a, like a caution sign so let's go ahead and put those on Okay, so I know it comes with all of these really pretty stickers. I just don't want to want to use them all. Um, but I did put on all the license plates and all the little lights and things, and it's really cute. I love the details. But I really do like how Schleich made the um, extra stickers optional because some people want them and some people don't. Um, so lastly, we just have uh, these last few accessories to get out of the bag. So let me put these people over here. And so we have the um, accessories and the tack and stuff like that. So here, this is the blanket and the halter. Let's get those out of here. I have quite accumulated a lot of these like halters. I actually really like them because they fit a lot of different models. So let's get the horse over here to model them for us. So, and they're really, I mean, they're great because they'll fit like any, pretty much any size horse because of the chain on them. So. And that's the halter and then it's a green and yellow blanket and it has velcro in the front cute blanket i really like that um okay so that's that stuff and then in here you also get doo -doo -doo, a really 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 cute hay bale i don't have any like hay bales and a brush another brush put those there um carrots and a really cute set of tack. So it's a light brown bridle and saddle. And the saddle has a blue saddle pad. And yeah, so neither of these are riding figures, so that won't work. But if you have other riding figures, then that's great. Overall, for the review part of this, um, I really think it's a great set. I mean, I'm very happy with it. Um, I think everything's really good quality. I think it's well detailed. Um, like I said, like I like how even the tires are a rubbery material instead of plastic. And um, I think all the accessories are really great. I think it comes with, I mean, everything you need except a riding person. Um, but you could make the truck driver ride side saddle. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, and it's definitely an upgrade from the old trailer I had. I brought this little gem out. I did make this a little while ago, 
it's uh, it's something really um it's cardboard <laughs> yeah i mean it's cute but it's it's definitely not the top quality i was looking for so i am really really happy with this and yeah i think it's great i think it's worth the money um and even though i decided to forgo the stickers i still think they're really cute and um if you like them you can use them or you can choose not to which i think is a good um detail um so overall i would highly recommend and um i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it helpful and i will see you all next time bye